Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Rick with a very, very different video. Um, so I've become kind of addicted to whatnot to, uh, you know, is an understatement right now. My buddy Joe Martinez will tell you whatnot can be a dangerous place uh, as a collector. But this is not movie related. This is actually uh, wrestling related. Over the last probably four, maybe four to five months, I've become pretty obsessed with wrestling cards. And um, basically on whatnot, what happens is guys will do like mystery packs when it comes to wrestling cards, or you can buy a spot where you buy a particular um, wrestler. So I bought a mystery pack for $25 and there's a brand new product that has come out, which should be right there. Guys, if you're not a fan of cards or have no idea why this is a big deal, this is a product called WWE Immaculate. Um, and there, I don't know if you can see it really well. First off the line, what does that mean? So Immaculate is a product that runs basically about $400 to $450 for a box of cards. As you can see there, you get six cards in a box or in a pack. Um, yes, that sounds insane. The cool thing about the first off the line feature is that um, you're guaranteed an extra autograph card to six or less um, in every box. So I spent $25 on a mystery pack um, with somebody I've bought mystery packs from before. His name is James, very nice guy. And uh, I ended up winning this box of cards, which this box um, is not your standard immaculate, which like I said, retails for about $400 to $450. This is a first off the line, and the only way you could get these was straight from Panini. And Panini basically uh, does a Dutch auction where they start at $750 and drop the price every 20 minutes till they're sold out. They only made a limited amount of cases. And uh, these boxes are going anywhere from $800 to $1,000. And so I would never be able to buy something like this, but I bought a $25 mystery pack, one single pack, and I got a sealed box of Immaculate and we're going to open it. And guys, you have no idea how excited I am. So this is amazing packaging. It is a beautiful like tin that it comes in. And as you can see here, all it is, is this little box. This is what you can buy for $800 to $1,000. It's a nice like uh, foam type material. Um, the tin's beautiful. It really has a nice matte finish to it. So you see here on the bottom, um, these are slight or these are sealed. It's totally sealed. Um, so I forgot. I wanted to get a a blank cardboard piece because I know the layout of these boxes. Um, I may have a helper that is in the room presently that is not on camera. Um, I think. She is going to grab me, um, hold on one second, in the basket. Yep, to the back right, left. I'm talking to myself, guys. So, <laughs> so they put plugs or dividers in packs um, that look like this. And so when I open this box, I need to block out. Um, I'll leave that there this way. Um, thank you. So... I know like the layout of the boxes because I've watched so many being broken recently. So I'm going to try to avoid seeing it. The top card's kind of tough to, uh, to, to not see. Let's see here. I've never opened a box of cards this expensive guys. I've, you know, like I've maybe spent $200 on a box of cards in the past and that was still a crazy, uh, concept. So we're blocking all the cards here. Now this is the tough one. I'm gonna go off screen here so I don't see anything. The camera's actually blocking it, which is perfect. So, okay, so you can see those are the cards, seven cards and then the cardboard on the top and bottom. And then we gotta to try to, let's see here. It's so much easier when I'm watching it in videos because I don't have to figure out the way all right so 
That's good. Guys, <laughs> so nervous. Uh, I have all my supplies here. I have top loaders. I have special thick sleeves. So let's see. The base card. We got Cowboy Brock, Brock Lesnar here, and all the base cards, as you can see there, the glare. So this base card is numbered to 65. So this is card number 39 of 65. Brock Lesnar is a really good base card to get. Obviously, you're searching for your rookies, um, Nikita Lyons, who I personally collect, Roxanne Perez, you know, Alexa Bliss, those kind of people. But Brock is definitely a solid superstar to have. You can see how thick the cardboard is on these cards. It's almost like they're foam. Um, they're so thick. Ooh, we got a matte relic here of Kevin Owens, one of my favorites, numbered 50 of 99. And the cool thing about the matte relics here, if you read, oh gosh, where am I? It tells you the enclosed ring canvas was used at WrestleMania 38 night one and is guaranteed by Panini. So this was actually a part of the mat that was used at WrestleMania. Um, and they do all different pay-per-views. They mention uh, Royal Rumble, night two of WrestleMania. So a pretty nice... Um, God, I'm like almost shaking putting these in. So a cool feature is that you're you know seeing what the relic is. And a lot of times on wrestling cards, you get a little tiny square. This you're getting... like The piece of mat is the entire like card basically. So that is cool. These next um, cards are usually a big piece of relic. Uh, it looks like a lady. It is a shirt relic. Oh, that's a cool, um, so it's numbered to 22. I just realized I'm not really on camera. Uh, numbered to 22, Blair Davenport. And like I said, this is a piece of a like worn t-shirt by Blair Davenport. These cards are just beautiful. Um, the, the clothes have been worn by the superstars. And uh, a lot of these are really cool because you're seeing designs on the shirts, which it used to be you would get a shirt relic and the shirt relic would basically have like a little black swatch or a white swatch. So I believe these are the right size top loaders. Awesome. So we're getting into the autographs now. Like I said, the standard box has three autographs and then you get an autograph number to six or less guaranteed. Hopefully this video is coming out. I've never recorded a video like this before. I may actually start doing like my, when I get titles sent to me to review, I might start doing the video this way. Let's see the first autograph. Ugh. Not a good start, guys. This is Reggie. The patch is amazing. And number to 10, number one of 10, Reggie is probably one of the worst names you can get in the set, honestly. Um, but at least this is a gold card. So it's number to 10. Um, it's, the focus keeps going in and out. So once again, a cool piece of the patch, but that that was like your standard size patch or maybe like a large patch in previous products. Um, but now they're getting a little bigger and there's a cool design on this one. But Reggie has the signature of like a five-year-old. That's like the big joke in the, uh, in the community is that anybody's kid could sign Reggie's name. So he's got the Reggie autograph. We'll put that... All right, let's see. That's a really cool card. Zia Lee. A really cool signature. And also another neat patch. So this is like, when, when they would put shirt relics in before, this was pretty much your typical size relic. That little tiny square. But compared that to... The Blair Davenport, which I can show you guys again. It is a, a much larger piece of shirt. Man. This isn't like... You just gotta worry about those corners. 
a cool autograph. Not the not the greatest name. Uh, hopefully we have a, a banger coming up so you can see the comparison in shirt relic size. Um, all right. You can tell I'm an amateur. All right, here we go. Let's get a banger. Oh, oh my God. Well, this is going in my personal collection. I'm a huge fan of Rhea Ripley. And wow. Uh, Rhea Ripley on card autograph with the relic 97 of 99. This is a pretty... Pretty big hit for this product. Um, sleeve is messed up. Yeah, but this is going in my personal collection, which is awesome. I mean, the fact that I was able to get this box for $25 is pretty pretty wild. And uh, there it is, guys. Rhea Ripley, numbered to 99. Like I said, I collect Rhea. I collect Nikita Lyons. Uh, uh, I'm going to mess up her name. A o it's not Aofi. It's, uh, I know it. I'm going to think of how you pronounce her name. Stevie Turner and, uh, oh man, Aifa? Aifa Valkyrie, I believe is how you pronounce it. I uh, actually pulled one of her shirt relics in a break I was in. So Rhea Ripley. And then the last card will be numbered to six or less. It's purple. As a relic, it's a lady, Ivy Nile, number two of six. Very cool. So this is referred to as an acetate. I don't know how well it like will show up on screen, but the card has a shiny, almost like a clear-like appearance to it. You can almost see it was like they uh, signed on like glass almost, but uh, the autograph is smudged which sucks um, because that that can negatively affect the value or the resale value of the cards. So, but Ivy Nile is an up and comer. Um, you see a little bit, two colors in the patch there. She's an up and comer. She's on NXT 2.0. And I actually have a few of her autographs from this set as well as um, Prism. So Ivy Nile 206, and that is it, guys. That is what a $1,000 or $800 box of wrestling cards looks like. I never, ever, ever imagined uh, I would be able to get a standard box of this. I just couldn't justify the money. And uh, to be able, I have to replace that soft sleeve. There's a dent in it. But I'll do that off camera. To be able to get a box uh, for $25, like I said, a big shout out to James uh, I want to say it's like 02010 on whatnot. I'll actually put a link uh, when I upload this. Um, so you guys, if you're into wrestling cards, can check out his channel. So we have the Brock Lesnar base to 65. The Kevin Owens patch to 99. The ring relic. The cool Blair Davenport numbered to 22. Piece of her shirt. The Reggie numbered 1 of 10 autographed relic card. The Rhea Ripley, number to 99, Relic Auto. That, Like I said, that is the highlight of this box. It's going in my collection. The Zeely, number to 25, um, Memorabilia Auto. And then the bonus hit from Immaculate, first off the line, is the Ivy Nile Autograph, number 2 to 6. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Definitely something different. If you enjoy the content, leave some comments down below. And uh, I will talk to you guys later.